Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn about division with the int primitive type and division with the double primitive type. They behave differently. Let's start with int and let's look at some examples. For example, if we divide the number 5 divided by 3, both of these are ints, so they are going to be treated with int division. 5 divided by 3 equals 1.6 repeating. However, ints can't support any decimal portion of the number. So we'll cut everything off after the decimal and just give us an output of 1. Doubles behave differently. If one or both of the numbers is a double, it will use double division. So we divide 5.0, which is a double, by 3. It's not going to round until we get to the last digit. Dividing by 0 behaves very differently with ints versus doubles. For example, if we divide by 0, 5, which is an int, divided by 0, which is an int, we're going to get an error because we can't divide by 0 using int division. Here's our error, arithmetic exception, divide by 0. On the other hand, if we're using double division, we can divide by 0. The output will depend on the numbers. Here I'm just going to change one of the numbers to a double, and since one of the two is a double, it will treat it with double division. Since the numerator is a positive number, we are going to get a positive infinity. If the numerator were a negative number, I'm going to make this double, just to show as an example, we are going to get a negative infinity. If both the numerator and the denominator are zero, we are going to get NAN, which stands for not a number. So we have to be careful if we're risking dividing by zero if we're dealing with ints. If we're dealing with doubles, we may be okay dividing by zero because we will end up with either a positive infinity, a negative infinity, or a not a number value. To see our next video, click on the link in the lower left-hand corner of this page. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the link in the lower right-hand corner of this page.